Hi everyone, this is Maggie with Cherry Arts, and today we're going to be making vases out of paper cups. For this craft, you're going to need two cups, one large one and one small one, two templates that will recreate the shape of the cups when laid out flat, a pair of scissors, some crayons, a glue stick, a brad or a paper fastener, and three pieces of construction paper. So what we're going to be doing is decorating the outside of our cup with the paper. However, since our cup is round and cylindrical and our construction paper is rectangular, it doesn't really fit the cup correctly. These templates will help recreate the curve of the cup so that the paper can fit on much better. So to get started, I'm going to cut my template out of the paper with my pair of scissors. Now that I've finished cutting out my large one, I'm going to cut out my small one as well, which will fit on our tiny cup. So now we have them, both large and small, cut from our paper. We're going to be tracing these onto the construction paper. So I'm going to pick the orange one for my larger cup. What I'll be doing is tracing this shape out of the paper using a crayon. Any color will do as long as it shows up on the paper. And now I'm going to do the same thing with a small template on a different color of paper. So there we have our two shapes traced out. The next step is to cut them out of the paper with our scissors. It's okay if you have some crayon showing because you can always flip the paper over and have that be the back side. So now we have our two shapes cut out. With our third piece of construction paper, we're going to be making handles for our vases, which are going to go on the edge like so. Now, we're just going to cut them the length of the paper, but you can make them however wide or thin you want. And if you'd like to trace it to make them straight, you can, or you can just cut them out. Now cut out of the paper we have our two handles, our small template, and our big template. Now putting the handles to the side for just a moment, I want to see how this fits over the outside of my cup. There it wraps much more smoothly, but I have a little bit of overhang on the bottom, a little extra paper. So I think I'm going to trim some of that off. There we go. Now I have far less extra paper on the bottom. Now, when we think about our handles and how they're going to lay on the cup, we need to think about where they'll be placed and how that might cover up part of our design on the paper. So to help me visualize this, I'm going to put the paper back on the cup 
and use my handles to mark where I want them to be. Here it's over the seam where the two edges meet so I can hide that. Marking the edges of the handle, I'll know where to stop my drawing so it's not hidden underneath them. Now we're going to have another handle on the opposite side, so I'm going to make the same marks to show where my design will be covered up by the other handle. Now it's time to decorate our paper. Using your crayons or your construction paper, you can do whatever you want. I think I'm going to do some floral designs. Now that I have something drawn out, I'm going to think about my smaller template too. Now this is going to go on the small cup with a shorter edge on the top and a longer edge on the bottom. So on this I think I'm going to do maybe some suns to match my flowers. You can, can do whatever you want on this part of the cup. So now that they're decorated, I think I'm going to use some of my extra construction paper to add a few extra pieces of flair. Now that it's done, I can put it on the outside of my cup. See how it looks. I think I'll switch over the edges like that. So using my glue stick, I'm going to be able to attach this to the outside of my cup. I'm going to make sure I put glue on the edges so it sticks there. And then I'm going to put some over the middle like so, so it sticks in the middle as well. Now I'm going to be careful to line this up along the edge of my cup and twist it around like so as I attach it. Now you can pull your paper a little bit if it's not lining up quite right or if it's a little too loose. Make sure you're checking if you have to readjust it a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little more glue right to the edge because that part has to stick very well. And this may be a little messy but I'm going to put some glue over the edge too just to help it stick. Oh, got to trim off a little edge on the bottom. With my extra paper, now that it is so much less than it used to be, I'm just going to fold it over the edges and it will be hidden later on when we connect the cup. Now if the two spots that are showing at the top and bottom, I'm not too worried about because my handles will help cover that up a little bit. So now that our other cup is to the side drying, we're going to be gluing on the template to our small cup in the exact same way we just did it to the big one. And again, I'm going to just push the extra over the top like so. Holding them together, you can see how they're going to fit just like that. Now we're going to have to let that one dry as well.
Now we're going to be attaching the two cups with our brad. And it's going to stick through the bottoms of each one so that they hold together. Now this next step may be a little tricky, so you might ask a parent for help because pushing the brad through the bottom of the cup might be a little hard. They can help you or they can puncture a hole through the bottom of the cup with scissors. Once you have a hole in the big cup, you can use the brad to push a hole in the smaller cup as well. I like to go through the bottom and have the two legs sticking out the top of the small cup because that will help me later on when I'm attaching them together. This one's much easier to push the brad through. There we have them, sticking through the top. Now I'm going to take the side with the two legs sticking through the top of the cup and I'm going to feed that through the hole I have in the larger cup, like so. And I don't know if you can see, but the tops of the bread are sticking through the big cup. I'm going to reach in and push each of the legs legs in different directions so that they hold the cups together. You can see it right here. They're laying flat facing the opposite way. And now our cups are fastened, but you can spin the bottom one if you like to reposition it however you want. I'm going to line up my seams on both sides just so they match up. Maybe I'll draw a little bit more too, just to cover up that seam a little bit. So now it's time to make our handles. Now, you can do these however you want. If you want to do a zigzag pattern on your handle, you can fold your paper like so, so it's got pointy edges. If you want round handles like a coffee mug, you can just do that like so. But I think I want to do a curve in mine, a little S shape. So I'm going to spin my paper to create a spiral. I'm going to spiral it one more time so it holds shape and then repeat what I just did on the other side but going the opposite direction. So I have that S curve. Now I'm going to find the flat places on my handle that I can use to attach to the cup like so. And I'm going to decide if I want it to be short or long and how wide I want the curve to go out. Using my glue stick once more, I'm going to attach some glue onto that flat part I want to stick onto the cup like so. And putting a lot of pressure, I'm going to help the glue stick down there. I'll repeat the same on the bottom and make sure to put on the pressure so it attaches, adding extra glue if needed. Now it's attached and I can do the same thing on the other side with my other handle. You see these are on opposite sides of the cup, balancing each other out. I'm going to match them in length and put pressure on so they stick well. Maybe I'll fix that curve a little bit. Once I feel that they're attached firmly, I can set it to the side to dry for just a moment. Once it's dry, my cup is done. I have my very own face and I can use it to hold whatever I want. Be careful, the handles are a little delicate. But I think I'm going to put my art supplies in here. <music> 